Hello and welcome to Gardening in 58 North. In this video I'd like to give you an update on my elephant foot pine, elephant foot vine here. This is the Latin name of it. You can see it's a bit of a, a mouthful to pronounce, so I'll just uh, get it in shot there. So this is a, a semi-arid plant which grows a vine out of a, a thick tuberous stem. You can see the stem down here. It's, it's got a lot bigger since I've last since I've since I've had it, so it's done really quite well. Put a lot of growth on. So when I last sowed you it, it was just starting to put growth on. And now you can see it's put on a huge amount of growth. This is by far the most leaves I've ever had on it. It's still growing. You can still see a lot of the new fresh shoots coming through. Still a lot of tiny leaves which haven't grown to their full size. This is about the full size of a leaf. Maybe this one up here is full size. So it's going to continue growing. It's been growing for about two or three months now, which has been the longest spell it's had of growth. What it does is it grows lots of leaves, then sits doing nothing for a few months. The leaves die off and then it keeps repeating that cycle. Once it's stopped growing the leaves, the leaves just sit there, they don't get any bigger, they just sit there and they absorb all the energy and then the, this tuber at the bottom starts to grow bigger. So at the moment, it's getting towards the end of the spell where it grows all its leaves again. So what will happen soon is the tuber down here will start to grow again and that will start fattening up. It hasn't been fattening up for a long time and that should start again soon. In the wild it generally grows the green top half in winter because that's when there's the most moisture and water around. But here in Scotland, it kind of it's a bit random as to when it does it. But at the moment, it's it's the middle of winter, so it's the end of December, so it's not going to be getting a huge amount of sunlight from the from the environment. But um, come spring, it should get without all these new leaves it's got, it will put a lot more growth in. So the amount of leaves it had last time was actually very small. It was probably only about this kind of size, just that area. So it's grown probably five or six times more or leaf this time. So I'm expecting it to put on a lot of rapid growth on the on the tuber come come the springtime when it gets more light. So that's all for the update for now. And I'll just leave you with a, with a time lapse that I recorded over the space of a few weeks. You won't see it growing up quite to this size because I had to bring it out to the a sunny windowsill because my grow lamp wasn't big enough to keep it under a grow lamp. But I'll just leave you now with that time lapse so you can see how it grows and how it spirals around the, the different canes and stems.